your opinion that science is capable and pretty good at discovering accurate information regarding the natural world? Um, I would say, no, the scientific method assumes accurate information, then it can do experiment. I would say science, the method, isn't actually required to uh, ascertain accurate information of the world. For instance, I can go, I can go out and do pro proper uh, tax taxonomy of trees and animals and things just by classification and, and identity yep. and be able to come to some good knowledge um, based on what things are. And so that's yep. a description of what something is. I hold that the scientific method gives us an explanation of what causes a phenomenon we see. Um, yeah. And do you think so what you kind of said there was, well, there are other ways of ascertaining true knowledge. Like if I if I am hungry, I am not using scientific knowledge. I'm aware that I am hungry. Um, you're wearing a red hat. I'm not using the scientific method to. So sure. that was the first thing I kind of heard from you. And I, I totally agree. But what I what I'd like to know is, you know, for example, you can't observe atoms, but we have a robust scientific um, framework that tells us that atoms exist and their properties of them. So I'm not talking specifically, I'm talking generically. I just use that as an example. So do you think that science is capable and very good at discovering accurate information about the natural world? Um, the scientific method, uh, I would say is not doing that, which is what's in question. If you're referring to science colloquially as a body of knowledge, then I would grant that. Specifically, I'm sure. I'm referring today to the scientific method. Okay, so um, if this is like too much of a meta conversation, then that's fine. But uh, what is it that you think the scientific method is not doing here, or is not good at, or is not capable of uh, making its way through? Uh, you mean in regards to evolution? No, just in regards to the scientific method, because I'm asking just oh. a generic question about oh. the scientific method oh. and being able to declare yeah. with confidence that these are true things about yeah. the natural world. Got you. Yeah, scientific method doesn't produce produce uh, truth claims, for one. Um, they, it assumes truth claims, so we start with assumptions about the world. Mm -hmm. We assume that they're regular. We call them things. These are first-order statements about the world. Scientific method is actually looking at a phenomenon in the world that's natural and asking a question of causality, and that's what the scientific method is. The scientific method doesn't actually produce truth statements. Um, but it produces likelihood statements. About yeah, causality. but I'm pretty sure you're conceding that the scientific method is a good method that gets us to drawing conclusions okay. about what we think is what what we think are the best explanations for what's happening. Yes, causally. Yeah, I sure. agree with that. Causally, okay. but not what something is, right? So the scientific method doesn't tell us uh, um, what something is, right? We, we, we declare what something is and we properly categorize. And then we go, oh, like, for instance, the scientific method, if I watched, um, you know, if me and you were on like a hike and we saw um, bubbling water out of the hot springs, right? You and I would both go, that's bubbling water, right? Yeah, I would hope so, yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't agree that we're doing science right there, right? No. Yeah, I, I talked about this yeah, already. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the distinction I'm making. What I'm trying to ask if there are scientific ideas you reject, and you kind of say that I reject that science has anything to say about what is or what is not true. Um, but, you know, I would say it, scientific method. It, it supports like what is likely to be true. However, I'm pretty sure that there are all kinds of things you agree are true statements about the world that we couldn't know if it weren't for science, like, for example, that radio waves exist, that atoms exist. So I, I feel like we, ha it's not exactly a contradiction, but I, I think you're, I don't know, it's, it doesn't seem coherent. Well, do you, you're, Eric, do you agree that there's a difference between describing something in the natural world and doing the scientific method? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the point yeah, I'm trying to so make is we arrive there by doing the scientific method. There are some cases where it's the scientific we need the scientific method to be able to do that. No, hold on a second. We need the scientific method. Okay, wait. So first the question was do you agree that there's a distinction between describing the natural world and doing the scientific method? You said yes. Mm -hmm. Then you said you need the scientific method to get there. Can you tell me where there is you're referring to? to being able to make, um, to be able to like make statements or have knowledge about the world. You agreed that us both pointing to bubbling water 
is not doing the scientific method. So now it sounds like you're contradicting. No, because I, I'll, I'll explain it again. There are some things like the existence of radio waves that that kind of knowledge can only be revealed to us if we go through the scientific method because it's not it's not directly observable. I mean, we the way we observed it was by doing science, but you need that specific framework in order to investigate it. So that's the issue I'm I'm having with this. You say I don't think science is how you do that. Yet, I think that there are many things you think are facts about the world that we couldn't know unless we went through the scientific method. If evolution was true, what would the evidence look like? Um, if evolution was a scientific theory, that's what's in question. It wouldn't, if it were true, it wouldn't be a theory because theories aren't true. Theories are likely explanations of causal relationships between variables and phenomena. Yeah, that's, so again, what mean by, that's what we mean by something. true. Well, no, because yes, it is. Things that we call no, things that we call facts. For instance, the um, that heat goes from hot to cold, right? We call that a fact, right? Yeah. Okay. Heat goes okay. from hot to cold. Pressure goes from high to low. Okay, these are things we call true facts. We call them lawful. Science yep. doesn't come to a theory and call it. It never calls it true, or otherwise it would be a law. No. Yes. Are, no. are scientific theories true, yes or no? They are, true descri they are true descriptions about the world. I know that you think this because you think atoms exist and it's called atomic theory. Um, if evolution occurred in, in the grand scheme of things, I actually have no idea what it would look like uh, because I'm not sure what you're claiming is causing uh, why the phenomenon. So, you know, if, if someone said, there's a scientific theory I have that this process occurred and produced this observation we call diversity in life. I'm going to ask a question. Interesting. Uh, can you isolate what you think is causing the diversity of life uh, such that you, you can, can you can save that for your cross examination? My well, next that's what question I'm saying is like your question has nothing to do with the scientific method. Uh, I, I, I would disagree. You're asking we're a trying, philosophical we're trying question. To, uh, no, we're trying to get I thought, there. I thought you didn't want to do philosophy. We're not. Um, so I'm confused as to if you don't even know how to delineate the data that would, that would say these evolutionary ideas are true or false. Why is it that you're claiming that evolution is not a scientific theory? And I know you also don't believe in evolution either. So why either of those things? Topic of the debate, um, is whether or not evolution is a scientific theory the question yes. of what and you don't what, know you what, don't you don't know what kind of data I'm that theory answer. would okay. would produce data i'm so not I'm, interested I'm, in data I'm, because the scientific method Jim Bob, um, is stop, more please. than data so uh you don't know what the data that would be produced by that body of knowledge that is the scientific theory would even mm -hmm. be so i'm curious as to why you think that it's not when you seem to be ignorant about how you would even ascertain whether or not it is well, because if you say, if evolution was true, what do you think it would look like? What would the evidence look like? Mm -hmm. I'm asking, what are, you, uh, what are you claiming is actually occurring such that I'm, a I'm, asking, the que I'm asking myself the question, is, is th did this happen? This, this is a question I of know, I know that you know what evolution right? is. I'm not going to spell it out here for you. The que a scientific theory is going to consist of a very large body of knowledge that's been collected by going through the scientific method. There's no way that you disagree with that. So yep. if evolution was true, what would that body of knowledge within the theory look like? It would look like starting with an observation and taking evolution down the scientific method steps and arriving at a theory. That's what it would look like for me. You're just, That's why we're you're here just, you're it. describing the process, not what is the data that would either confirm this idea or allow us I to do. be able to throw this idea I, out. I don't, I need don't to know what the data would be. We don't confirm scientific theories with data. We yes, confirm we them absolutely with do. Oh, what, we what is it that the, what is it that the experiments give us to be able to draw yeah. conclusions? I, fair enough, but data. I'm not just looking at data without an experiment. I'll, I'll ask it one more time, and then I think I know maybe a different direction we can go. If evolution was a scientific theory, then it would possess a collective body of knowledge that supports the theory. What 
kind of knowledge would the evolutionary theory contain within it? What kind of knowledge would the what scientific... What sorts of data would confirm evolution and be part of its uh, theory? Data? Uh, what types of data it would uh, include is um, ca uh, introduced causal mechanism that produces the phenomenon that's observed. It would include that data. Okay, so I guess that's what we're going to have to go with. I, I don't really understand. Right.